Santos Live Show, hey. brought to you by our great sponsor, J&J Materials. They are giving away $10,000 a month for the next five months and $25,000 wow. at the end of the five months. Wow. Just click on that link. Not right now. At the end of the show, click on the link <laughs> right in the post. Yes, click on the link. And click on that link, baby. Click that link. Click that link. Click that and, link, baby. Uh, Oh, and by the way, no purchase is necessary. We know that. No purchase is necessary. Well, you know, right here we highlight the talented, interesting, and entertaining. We have a great show tonight. Waiting in the wings, singer Ed Macedo. There he is Yay! right there. Yeah. Oh, Ed <laughs> Howdy, everybody. Ed yes. Ed we also have uh, some great highlights from the music of Sinatra with Joey Charenza. That'll be along a little Yo, while. Oh, Joey. We also have highlights from Doug Flutie. Chops and I hanging out with Yo! Doug yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Trump's catching a Hail Mary and everything. <laughs> yeah, give me that Hail Mary, Doug. <laughs> and yes, the sidekick of the century. He needs no introduction. World class <laughs> vocalist and entertainer. Chops Turner is right there. Thank you, 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 thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Hey, Jobs, I, I, Jobs, you have a little different background. You're in a different location today, right? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm live at Foxwood tonight. Foxwood, he's live at Foxwood. Foxwood, Foxwood. Foxwood. baby, Foxwood. Hey, you know what it is? I'm going to let the cat out of the bag. I'm going to let the cat out of the bag. Today yeah, is Pops no. and Nicole's anniversary. Happy anniversary to you. Yeah, thank you, man. Thank you. Ah. All right. Yeah. Hey, hey, yo, hey, hey bro, don't forget my steak, man. <laughs> oh, it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> I told Chops during the pandemic that when it was over, we were all going out for steak dinner. When the pandemic ended five minutes ago. He's already asking me about it. <laughs> Give me a chance. The pandemic just ended for that thing. Uh, <laughs> anyway, you know what I like about this? This is a sign of a good woman right here, right? It's your anniversary, nice. but yet Chops Turner is doing the Paul Santos live show right now. We appreciate that's it. Right. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm talking about. So thank you, Nicole. Chops will be down to gambling in a few minutes. <laughs> I, actually, doing this show is a gamble, actually. That's right. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's get to the monologue, Chops. You know, we were all busy getting ready for Doug Flutie and everything, so I, I really didn't have a lot of time to work on the monologue, so I got some leftover stuff that we, we didn't get to a few weeks ago. Hey, hey you know, I, I really read this. This is really true. Uh, there is a dentist, a lady dentist, that claims that she can tell if a woman is pregnant during an examination. Something about, you know, like the gums are swollen or something like yeah. that. There's some, there's some examination that the lady dentist can do. God, you know, I, I don't know a woman could get pregnant like that. Me either. <laughs> wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. My wife, hey, you know, my wife got me a present last week. You know, my wife got me. It's a guy that's going to throw the jokes in when I'm done saying them, you know. So there goes the first one, right? What, what, you want to keep that one or get rid of it? Yeah, give it. I don't keep it. Oh, no, you like that one. I like that one, man. Yeah, you, like those, you like those borderline risque. Yeah, right. yeah, I like those, man. That's that beautiful. And yeah, the guests are still there, so that's a good sign. Um, <laughs> well, you know, uh, a farmer out west was kind of sleeping at the switch on the farm, and uh, his don his donkey got loose chops. Did you see this in the news? Yeah, that that that. Oh, it's, wow. Yeah, it's actually his burrow. His burrow got on the loose. You know what? What a what a dumb farmer. You know, he doesn't yeah. know his ass from his elbow. 
Ah, all right, all right, wait a minute. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, keep yeah. that one. Keep that one. that one too. Hey, you know, uh, in Fair Haven, did you see this in the news? They're taking a bell, a giant bell that was actually built by Paul Revere, and they're putting it in Fair Haven. You know, I think that's pretty cool. A Paul Revere bell right here in Fair Haven. Now, neighboring Fair Haven, they have a great beach there, Fort Phoenix, right? So I thought to myself, yeah. why are they going to put that thing in the middle of town? <laughs> they should put that bell on the beach. You know why? Why? That way the lifeguards can go. <laughs> the shots are coming. The shots are coming. Uh, uh, I think I think that's a... <laughs> no, say that, all right. Man. I already know. I already know. Save that, man. All right. Save all right, that. All right. All right. Well, you know, the other day I'm driving down the road and this car zips by me, right? And I noticed a, a bumper sticker on the car and it said, the lust ladies, right? So I'm thinking, ooh. The lust ladies. What the heck? The lust. The lust ladies. Who the heck are the lust ladies? Well, the car went by. I didn't. I didn't really think anything of it, you know. So I'm going down. All of a sudden, I get to a red light, and I'm like, "Oh, there's that car with the, with the bumper sticker, lust ladies." I want to see what who's inside the car, right? So all of a sudden, I pull up. I'm like, "Oh, wait a minute! It doesn't say lust ladies. It says the dust ladies. They come and clean your house, you know." <laughs> 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 all right, hey, you know, Josh, <laughs> is the guest still there? He's still there. All right, he's, all right. he's still there. He's still there. He's sitting there like a He's sitting there, like a, <laughs> he's sitting there like a statue. <laughs> <laughs> right, hey, look, hey, look, Dogs. A friend of mine the other day, you know, I got that bad back. You know what these are? These are yeah. gummies. These are gummies. It's gummy bears. Yeah, gummy bears, right? So I'm like, what? What is this? Is this like, is this like over the counter, under the counter? What it says right here. <laughs> It says THC on here, you know. <laughs> he, said, hey, man. he said it kicks it in an hour ahead of time. So I said one one day we'll try it an hour before the show, see what happens. <laughs> it's supposed to be good for you, man. Cannabis, right? Well, it's got THC, yeah. I guess it's uh it's good for back pain and stuff like that. So I don't know. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try. You can have one too just for the fun of it, you know. Yeah, have one for the fun of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Chops uh, is a, a great entertainer, as we said. And every Saturday night, he plays down there in Mashpee, Massachusetts at Tomatoes with Colleen That's Marshall. Amazing. And uh, we've been down there, my wife and I. It is a great take. And the food, Chops, man, the Dude. food is like second to none down it there, is, right? It is, it is great, man. Great food off the hook. Yeah, off the hook. So, what, what are they having? A contest or something? Uh, it says, please vote for Tomatoes, the best live entertainment, best dancing. Please share that. The best live entertainment at Tomatoes and the best dancing for twenty one, for 2021 Cape Cod's best. Please vote. Right. Yes. So you can, you, can, you can vote, right? I, I, I want to get my vote in. <laughs> oh, yeah. All you do is go online and you'll see it online and uh, you can share it and uh, and vote. For the best live entertainment and the best dancing. Please All right, that sounds me. good. Hey, we, we are down there. We were like raising the roof a couple weeks ago there. You know, it's yeah, great. Hi, yo. Hi, yo. What's that thing? Uh, uh, wind the back. Wind the back. Make the booty go. Uh, uh. Wind the back. Make the booty go. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Oh, hey, don't don't X out, Ed. Don't X out. Hold on, Ed. All right, listen. The child, he was reaching out like this. I'm like, no, 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 don't yeah. do it. Hold on, Ed, hold on. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. All right, a reminder, the Chop Turner Show is live on Facebook Sunday nights on the Chop Turner Turner Facebook page. Some great entertainment there. We want to thank our sponsors, Surf Pro, Isaacson Solar, Empire Ford, Aaron Pools and Spas, Livestream, Baskin Incorporated, and our primary sponsor. We are going to hear from them right now. It is J&J &J Materials, as they tell you all about their big cash giveaway. Do you want to win $10,000 or better yet, how about $25,000? It's your lucky day because J&J &J Materials is having a big cash giveaway. That's right, we said cash. Go on the vacation of your dreams, buy a new car, or pay down some debt. The options are endless. Now through September, one winner per month will win $10,000 and the grand prize winner for $25,000 will be drawn in October. What are you waiting for? Enter to win at jjmaterials.com slash contest. That's jjmaterials.com slash contest. No purchase necessary. All yeah. right, be prepared to uh, be entertained right now if you haven't been entertained already. 
<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a, a real gentleman and uh, someone who has a great sense of humor, and he is a terrific performer. Here is Ed Macedo. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Woo! How are you all doing? All right. Oh. All right, Ed. Do your thing, baby. All right, here we go. This is probably one of my uh, most requested songs, and uh, I have a super fan that requests it all the time. So we got a little Chris Stapleton here for Tennessee Whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> songs he wanted to do and when i heard him do that one i'm like oh man can you do that one i just like the way he does that with the guitar really really effective nice job ed thank you very much good job ed sound great hey, bro. somebody on here michael amarante says ed is the man the myth the legend <laughs> <laughs> thank you mike he's the man i appreciate it so are you yes, right sir. back at you <laughs> hey, so Ed, thank you very much for coming on tonight. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Unlike Chops, you're not a full-time musician. You you know you work during the day, but you've always done music on the side and loved it so much. Uh, what is it about music that you like, and what is, is your uh, day profession? Well, I uh, I'm a dispatch supervisor. We uh, my office ditch dispatches the super uh, the troublemen for the uh, electric company, our local electric company. I don't know if I can say the name or not, but that's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Um, okay, have a source. Um, and whenever somebody calls in without power or something like that, we get a call on our screen and we manage all the outages and send um, all our trouble into the largest outages first and things like that and get power on as fast as possible. Right. That sounds like, you know, serious work, obviously, because when those calls come in as a hurricane or, you know, some of those wind storms in the summer and uh, and then in the winter, even worse, people really need the power. Oh, yeah, that's for sure. A lot of people on uh, medical uh, equipment at home, um, depending on that, things like that. And uh, it's a very important job. 
And you're from the uh, southeastern Massachusetts area, are you not? I am. I uh, We cover from Westport all the way to P-Town to up past, um, up into Duxbury. And uh, yeah, so it's a pretty large area. All right. But you're from here yourself. You grew up around here in Massachusetts? Oh, yeah. I grew up in Dartmouth. Um, lived cool. there all my life. Dartmouth High graduate, 77. Um, went to Mass Maritime. Uh, got a Bachelor of Science in Marine Engineering. I uh, was an um, engineer down the Steamship Authority for a while. I um, was a nuclear reactor operator in Plymouth at the Pilgrim Nuclear Power Plant for 20 years. And uh, I left there and uh, went to work for Eversource. Well, at some point in time, you thought to yourself, oh, I want to sing. I want to play music. I want to get the enjoyment that, you know, performers get. And you grabbed that guitar, you started singing, and here you are many years later. How did you pick that up? Why did you pick it up? How long have you been doing it? Well, my great-grandfather, when I was a little child, uh, when growing up, he would play all the uh, Portuguese fato music, uh, and he played guitar. And um, I actually... Uh, Really liked it. I mean, singing, getting, you know, singing and playing get everybody in a great mood. And every time he played, everybody was in a great mood. So I figured, what better, uh, what better instrument to play? Um, my sister played keyboard. Uh, so I figured I'd pick up a guitar and um, make people happy. It makes me happy. But I've been playing. Yeah, well, you know, Chops, Chops is a great entertainer. We, you know, we're always uh, saying that because it's the absolute truth. We have a lot of fun here. Uh, but he's a great entertainer as well. And, you know, uh, when, uh, gentlemen, I can say to both of you, when you're out there and you're performing and you're connecting with the audience and you're getting your know, music across and, and the, the audience appreciates that music and you have that connection, I mean, it really, I can tell, it feels like there's nothing like it. Oh, there is nothing like it. Uh, when you're having a good night, it is a fantastic night. And when you're having a bad night, it's still a good night. <laughs> well, well, Chops, when I saw you, when I saw you a few weeks ago, Chops, you were having a really good night that night. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it is cool. I, you you still love it, Chops, after all this time, right? Oh, uh, yeah. It's, like you said, there's nothing like singing, man. Yeah. When you're in the zone, when you're in the zone, you're in the zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, like right. right. All right, so, like Ed, I know you have another another selection that you'd like to perform for us tonight. <laughs> um, what is this uh, second selection going to be? Okay, I was, my favorite... I'm a Southern rock junkie. I, I like Southern rock and uh, country rock, things like that. So my, one of my favorite bands is the Eagles. All right. uh, and I, I know a lot of my friends are shocked by me saying that, but <laughs> they know. They, they, they know. If, it's not, yeah. if, I'm not, if I'm not playing Skinner, it's the Eagles, you know? Yeah. So I get a little song here called Take It Easy by the Eagles. All right, here you go. Hit Messino, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Oh, 
let the sound of your own wheels drive you crazy. You can't stand, don't even try to understand. We'll find a place to make your stand. Take it easy. Macedo. Yeah. Great Eagle song. Take it easy. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Hey, you know, you mentioned know uh, Leonard. So. You, you, you guys are talking over each other. What's going I'm on? Sorry, great job. No, I said, I didn't know the Eagles <laughs> sang that thing. It was beautiful as well. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you said Thank something you. about Leonard Skinner. Uh, you don't do a free bird, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Not today. <laughs> That'll take about 45 minutes, I think. <laughs> but I, I do. <laughs> yeah, you do? All right. Well, next time. Next time. I want to hear that one. Okay. Uh, so what's going on in the future for Ed Macedo now? You got some plans to get back in the music, uh, you know, performing a little bit more? Yep. Yep. Um, I, right now I'm involved um, with a uh, myself and a guy by the name of Frank Carnes uh, with uh, Steve Brennan, um, Ruben Pacheco, and uh, Bob... Um, Bobby the Hop, uh, oh my God, I forgot his last name, Pel Peliquin. Um, we are, we're doing an open mic uh, night thing uh, where we get up, play for an hour or so at the uh, Bayside on Sunday afternoons from 5 to 8, and then we invite anybody else to come up on stage and play with us, or they can come up and play by themselves and uh, support local musicians and uh, give them a venue to try stuff out, uh, try out their chops, and uh, see how it goes, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no pun intended there. No, hey, no, no, you, that's right, yeah. No, that was good. Yeah, thanks. Hey, can we get Paul up there? <laughs> wait, sure. wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sure. Uh, he, he's going to have to get a comedy routine, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it here. Anyway, anyway, I got my. I'm gonna take a couple of these gumbies. <laughs> hey, Ed, you got a you you have you fun. You know, you're right into what we're doing. So, uh, thank you, thank you very much for being with us thank today, you, and uh, all the best. And uh, hey, maybe we'll swing by. Uh, you know, in, in the audience, in the audience, we'll swing by the uh, Bayside and uh, check you guys out. <laughs> Excellent. And we'll see you, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for being here Thank tonight. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. All right. All right. All right. Hey, man, that was great, man. That was great. This guy, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. Hey, you know, you know, a friend of mine, Mike Belair, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, I bought, I bought this garbage can. I threw some of the garbage yeah. can. So he typed <laughs> in, he goes, you're going to need a bigger bin. <laughs> 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 oh god all right all right yeah right. hey, you gotta you know you gotta swing They're for the fences it, you gotta swing for the fences you know hey, hey even <laughs> babe ruth struck out four times in the same game you know what I mean? right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> all right well uh we are gonna be right back with um the music of sinatra highlights joey charrens right. yeah that was that was a great show we're gonna have some highlights okay. of that right after this message from Surf Pro. <laughs> We're here with Doug Glassman from Surf Pro, and you guys service a lot of needs. Yes, we absolutely do. Fire, water, mold, cleanup, and restoration. Remember, at Surf Pro, they make it like it never even happened. Give them a call at Surf Pro. All right, I want to get a few shout outs tonight. Gerald Perkins wishes Chops and hey, Nicole happy up, anniversary. Gerald? What's up, yeah, Gerald? happy anniversary. My Anthony man. Comer. Anthony Comer says Chops is my hey, guy. Comer, my man. One of the baddest <laughs> football players in the world. <laughs> yeah. Even, hey. even Doug Flutie. Doug Flutie knows it now, too. Oh, yeah. Doug Flutie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Reed says, watching with you, my friend. Thank you very much, Paul. Marlene hey, Gomes hey, offering 
Happy anniversary to Chops and Nicole. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Thank Earl you. White uh, laughed at uh, one of my one-liners and then said, eh, I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, watch it, man. Watch it, Earl. <laughs> My man, Earl. And, then, and then right after that, he said, by the way, how do I win the $10,000 again? <laughs> yeah, that's right. We got $10,000, Earl. <laughs> All right. So remember, you click on that link, right? Click on that link, J&J Materials. You go right there, and, and it tells you what to do, how to sign that's up right. for it. So do it. That's All right. right. Eddie Costa says, nice. Good job. Uh, let's see, Diane Botello, number one fan watching tonight. That's great. Chris Giblin, thank you very much for your support. Thank and Laurie Tabor, Laurie Tabor, yes. Hello. yes. Oh. oh, and our fan from Niagara Falls, Lynn Marie Scrivano, who gave us the Flutie Flakes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's wishing you a happy anniversary, too. How about that? Oh, thank right. you. Oh, oh. Hi-oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> all right, all right. So, yeah, what happened was our really great friend, Joey Charenza, he is a oh, yes. Frank Sinatra tribute singer, right? So a week ago Saturday, he performed a show called America is Back. And what a great show. It was June the 5th at Spinelli's in Linfield. He asked me to be the MC, which I really enjoyed. I mean, this is a great show. You can actually go to his page, and the entire show is up there. But I just thought I'd take, like, you know, maybe five minutes, put a little, t take a two-hour show, edit it down to five minutes. But you know what the best part is in Chops and Cena? You know that entrance that he has there? It's oh, just yeah, like... It's crazy. just like Frank Sinatra, you know what I'm I mean? You, no, but you I'm have to sure. capture that. If you're going to do that show, you want to make it just like, you know, just like Sinatra. That's right. That's so right. That, that, that whole in, intro, man, it's like it's like <laughs> something else. You, you swear to God you're at a show with Frank, and that's the way it should be. Wow, that's you know right. I mean? So here it is. Let's take a, a, a five-minute look at the music of Sinatra with Joey Charenza. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to America is Bad, the music of Sinatra featuring Joey Charenza. I can feel it. I can feel it in the air. It's nice to see everybody without the masks. You can actually see your faces. And there are a lot of smiling faces here tonight. I'm honored to be your MC tonight. We're all looking to have a great time.
and gentlemen, Joey Charenza. Let's hear it. What a beautiful job tonight. Come on, let's hear it. Let's hear it for Joey. Come on. One more, Joey. One more. Come on. One, one more. One more. Come on. One more. Come on. One more. You want one more? One more. Little time. It's up to you, New York, New York, New York. Thank you. Gentlemen, Joey Charenza, let's hear it. Yeah, Joey Charenza, what a great job with the tribute nice. singing, the music of Sinatra. Wow, he he can really, I mean, you swear that's Frank Sinatra up there. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh man! So we got a couple of comments here. Nancy A. Longworth Ledger Costa says she really enjoyed the Frank Sinatra music, and Laurie Tabor said, "Awesome." Awesome. Just like that. Just a comment. Awesome. So thank you very much for uh, enjoying that. We certainly did. And uh, I think uh, I hear some uh, some rumors that maybe that show might be coming down to New Bedford uh, sometime in the summer, fall, or maybe even by Christmas. So we'll keep an eye out for that. All right. Well, that man right there, Chops Turner, we had some fun uh, yesterday. <laughs> we, it kind of drove us a little crazy, too, because we were worried about the Internet and Actually, yeah, yeah. did have some internet problems, but uh, we had a yeah. chance to hang out with Mr. Hail Mary himself, Doug Flutie. That was pretty good. Doug huh? Flutie, baby. Woo! Wow, wow, look at that, right? So I was thinking to myself, I was thinking to myself, right? Uh, you know, hey, you know, I, I don't want to say, hey, hey, Doug, nice to meet you. How about the Hail Mary? You know what I mean? So like that, you think this guy, you probably thinking this this guy who's doing the interview, this guy's a stiff, you know? <laughs> so, so, so I tried to slip it into the end. So we were talking, we were talking, we we're doing this, doing that, doing this, doing that. And then right at the end, we tried to slip it in. And then I, I was thinking too, right? I was like, I wonder if I could get him like throw a ball of chops. You know, like would he really do that? <laughs> would he really do that, or we think we're a bunch of idiots, right? What, 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 do you, what would he think? You know what I mean? So. <laughs> <laughs> so I figured, uh, you know what? Like, uh, when, when am I going to see him again? Anyway, you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> I'm never going to see him again. He's never going to see me again. So why don't why don't I throw a hail mary on my own? <laughs> All right. So the the interview is going along. You can see the whole thing on this page on your Bedford Guide or Fall River Report. If you scroll back, um, it was about 15 minutes and it was a lot of fun myself. We did have a few internet problems, but we managed to get through it. You could hear probably 90% of it came through very well. Um, but I just got a little clip here of uh, Chops and I having some fun with Mr. Doug Flutie. Chops, I have one more question. Yes, I'm trying to remember yes, what it was. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, How about that, Hail Mary? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, I, 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 I just can't help it. <laughs> Flutie yeah. Flakes! Yeah! Hey oh. Pump it up! You're not going to let air out of the ball, are you? Uh, <laughs> you can pick up a football right away. This is just a little underinflated. And now, now the first thing you think is it's a Patriot ball, right? It's like, how did you like your ball? Um, I like it in my receiver's hands as opposed to a defensive back's hand. <laughs> People can say that they had a cereal named after her. Wow. Uh, you know, yeah, from what you're saying, a lot of people, oh, yeah, you were on the Weedy Spots. <laughs> no, it was Flutie Flakes. But, yes, I was on the Weedy Spots. But, no, you're thinking about the Flutie Flakes. We sold four and a half million boxes. Of Whoa. Those over almost wow. $2 million dollars for the foundation. You know, Josh, one of our viewers in Niagara Falls right. was a big Buffalo Bills fan. About she sent, she sent this to me. She sent this to me. Very this morning and said, hey, ask Doug about the, the Flutie Flakes. <laughs> she obviously has the red box, which is the original box, ah. which is worth <laughs> a lot more than the other. Yeah, it's worth about $4 or $5. Dollars. Yeah. Right. Travis Turner won two national championships in flag football. Okay, go over there, my man. Flag. What, right over there. 
Hey, how about a how about a Hail Mary part two right over here to Chops? Here we go. Back up. Hey, all the way down there, Chops. All the way down there. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Go deep, Chops. Go deep. You got it. Flutie drops back. He throws. Touchdown, Turner! Yeah! Ah, <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> All right, Chops Turner. Oh, yeah. There's, there's down there like this. Like, please, baby. please. <laughs> please, yeah, baby. Please don't drop this one. Please don't, drop, please don't drop it. No, help Mary, please. It's like, what is that? Whoop. Oh, I got it. I got it. Here it is right there. I got it. I got it. I would oh, say, Hail man. Mary for the grace. Let me catch that ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He said a few our fathers, too, as that was in the air. Yeah, our fathers, uh, too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, uh, Butch Carrera is watching tonight, and he says Joey hey, is Butch, awesome, what's and up, I agree. Dude? Crazy goo. What's yeah, up, Butch? He says, he says Joey is awesome. Thank you, Butch. Love right, you, man. And then, um, Mike Belair, who said for me to get a bigger bin, uh, he said that he always enjoys our show. <laughs> <laughs> so that's good. Uh, great show. And I uh, said we should make a recording of Chops laughing because it's a very, uh, you know, contagious. It makes people happy. And I think he's right about that. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> hey, and uh, Lynn Marie uh, Scrivano from Niagara Falls who sent down the uh, picture of the Flutie Flakes. She says, Flutie Flakes forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Well, uh, you know, Doug Flutie actually has a band, too. It's called the Flutie Brothers Band, okay? Oh, man, and, they were great. Uh, they're, they're up on stage, and they got to play with former guitarist for the band Boston, Barry Goudreau, and great blues performer James Montgomery up on stage. And how about Montgomery with the harmonica? Oh, chop? man. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, so I got a little clip of that. Check this out, and check out James Montgomery on the harmonica and Doug Flutie in the background on the drum. <laughs> Ah, yeah, there he is, Mr. Yeah. Doug Flutie. <laughs> wow, He's that great. was a great time. They were great, man. They were great. I yeah, wasn't he, he, was, he was so much fun, you know, like I didn't know what to expect yeah. because, you know, I've interviewed a few celebrities here and there. Like right, sometimes right. sometimes, someday they can be a little cranky, you know, but Doug Flutie, right. man, he was just like, he jumped right in there and he was just oh, like yeah. one of us in two seconds, which was great. Yeah, he, you know? he was a great guy, great guy. Well, I got a great. message here from Richard Ponce, who we know as Big Papa. He was at the Big show Papa, yesterday man. with Flutie. So he, you know what he says? He says that was an awesome, awesome show with uh, last with Chops and Paul last night with Doug Flutie. Thank you. Uh, catching the ball from Flutie. Uh, Flutie was extremely gracious, along with the legendary Chops Turner. <laughs> ah, thank you, thank you, Big Papa. Who oh, loves you, man? Me and Paul. Yeah. All right, some quick shout outs here. Stella Paul. Hello, Stella. Connie Andre watching tonight. Uh, Joyce Tessier Aberantes. Mike Landert. Alan Alves. Oh, I know Alan Alves from uh, back when I was uh, working in the DA's office and stuff. We got a Cheryl Correa, Cecilia DeMello Pavo, Kerry Zajac. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Phyllis Silva, Michael Coote, Carol Hodges, Pauline Gaudet. Wow. Yeah, we got quite a few tonight. Uh, let's yes, see. Man. Denise Croto Satura, Buster Rail, 
player wow. Alpha, Maria Brum, Sammy Asores, Terry Hamilton Zayas, Rebecca LaFrancois, Betty Goodine, wow. Eddie Medeiros, Mark Oliver, Robin Ullman Sherman. All right, yeah, I graduated yeah. with her. Thomas Akeeping. Um keeping 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 time tonight. <laughs> You know that Robert Alvin Sherman. You know, like I, 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 we came across each other. I say, I remember you in school. She goes, Yeah, I don't, I don't remember you. <laughs> uh, that's all right. That's all right. That's, that's okay. That's all right. It's all right. High it's school, okay. you know. It's, uh, yeah, it's no, that's what it is. That's what it is. So, uh, chops. Uh, you know, I, I got to tell you, we've had a lot of fun the last few weeks because um, yeah. you know, some of the guests that we had. Like, if you didn't get a chance to see it, right? Scroll back. It's only a couple of shows ago when Victor mm -hmm. Tavares was on. Oh, and the and, and the Rude Boys and, and Chops also uh, sang a song down in our New Bedford Guide studio. Yeah. Oh, that was uh, what a wonderful show. But let's focus on Victor Tavares for a second. I mean, he comes in there. He looks very, very slim. He looked, uh, you know, 76 years old. Almost didn't look like – he almost looked a little on the weak side. He's kind of come in, you know, and he's very demure and very polite. All of a sudden, that music <laughs> came on, and I thought – I mean, he hit like a grand slam miles out of the park. I couldn't believe how good it was. Man, his uh, his singing is still uh, impeccable. He's he's flawless, man, and he, he, he's a, he's a he's a pro, man. He's yeah, a pro. and then right after that, we put Chops on, and then, so we had uh, Victor and Chops back to back. And you know, you sang that Willie Nelson song. I know you love that song. Always uh, on my mind, and uh, that was a great job on that one, Chops. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah. And how about the Root Boys, man? The house band over oh, there. They're, they're, hot, man. they're hot, man. The Root Boys, my boys. Uh, yeah, man, they want to be a house band. I'm like, come on, bring yeah. it, man. man. I need that. I need that. Yeah, man, they, they're hot, man. They're yeah, unique, they're... too. Very unique. Very unique. And then we had, you know, you mentioned Tavares, right? We were so fortunate to have Chubby Tavares on just a couple oh, weeks Chubby before that. Great. Talked Chubby. about all that time with Tavares oh, yeah. and everything. What, what a great, in, you know, great pleasure to interview Chubby's him great. that was, you know? Yeah, all right. Great. And let's see. Uh, oh, um, coming up in the next few weeks, we got a rapper out of Detroit. You know, we're taking the oh, chance. Oh, yeah, they're rapping. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, you know, the rapping music, it's a little, it's a little bit different than like, you know, yeah. hip hop, hip 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 hop. No, no, no. no the, well, the rapping music today, you know, mm, they, they like to drop a few bombs in there. You know what I mean? But, uh, we're going to, we're going to clean it up. We got some, I got my editing app over here. I'm going to, I'm going to clean, I'm going to do the, you know, the, the rated G version there, you know, but he's very talented. If you, once he's on. And if oh, yeah. you know, hey, there, there are people that enjoy that style of music, and you know that every to each his own, right? In the United States, right. you do, you know, everybody's got their own style, right? Yeah. So when he comes on, we'll we'll direct you over there, and you can check it out. But the kid's very talented. He he's bumped into talented. our show. He was watching our show from Detroit, and he's like, "Hey, those guys look like they're having a great time. They're showcasing musicians and stuff." So we're happy to bring him down, you know. And uh, next week, unless there's a, a last minute change in the schedule. Uh, the popcorn guy is supposed to be coming on. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, my man. That's my buddy there. The popcorn he's popping. Yeah, he's yeah. popping, man. <laughs> his, name hey, is, uh, popping. his name is Jake Jackward. Jake, yeah. Jake Jackward. And he started he started a popcorn business because he wanted to help his daughter with a medical issue. And so, then he made this popcorn, yeah. and then he sold a couple bags, and then he sold a couple more bags, then he sold a couple more bags. All of a sudden, people are asking him about, give me a bag, give me a bag. And next thing you know, the guy, the thing blows up. He's selling all these bags of popcorn. So I want to know what all the fuss is about. So he said that he brings some, you know, if we're going to try to get back into the live studio because I can't get the popcorn virtually. But uh, if we can do it, if we get back in the studio next week. Um, we'll give everybody, we'll, we'll give Josh some popcorn. We'll give, we'll give oh, yeah, Justin some popcorn. Else. We'll keep everybody, everybody, everybody gets else. popcorn. Everybody gets popcorn. <laughs> you know, we, we're going to give, we got to give everybody all this stuff. So what are you going to do? Yeah. You're going to go, you're going to go gamble now in a few minutes here. Yeah. I'm going to get something to eat. Me and my wife will go get something to eat. Then, um, play a little, little machine. My wife will play and I'll watch it a little bit. Then I might chime in a little bit and walk around, you know, <laughs> They might have karaoke out there. They usually have karaoke. <laughs> hey, I wait for you to come up and sing, man, some Frank Sinatra. Oh yeah, you know, I I, I get up, I got, I got, a, I got, a, I get, a, I get a little. <laughs> right, I'm still just just a little, just a little. I gotta get a little more polished. Yeah, man, you'll be all right. You come on up, man. We we have some fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right, right, exactly. Yeah, and uh, and uh, what another guy? You know, another guy, the guy, uh, Macedo, right? I, I, I have him as, I have him as a guest on my show and everything. I'm like, all right, yeah, Mr. Macedo. Oh yeah, you're a great singer. You did do that. All of a sudden, I say, yeah, about open mic. He goes, yeah, you gotta get a routine first. <laughs> 
<laughs> a, guy, a guy knocks me out with an uppercut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, come on, man. They brought you on my show, man. Come on. What's going on? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I, I do. When people, take, when people do that, I, I think it's hilarious, you know. Uh, it's, a, it's a work in progress, Chops. It's a work in progress. That's right. That's right. Um, by the way, J&J &J Materials, they're not giving away $100, Chops. Right. They're not giving away $1,000, Chops. They're giving ten thousand dollars a month for the man, next five months. Can you imagine ten thousand big ones? I can and then, use that. Man. And then five months from now, the grand prize of twenty-five thousand dollars. Man, that's incredible. Man, we can get our door bus, man, with that money. And you don't even have to pick door number one, door number two, or nothing. You just go right on uh -huh. the link and you zip right in, and uh, and that's it. You know, that's no purchase necessary, right? No, no purchase necessary. <laughs> It's not like Monty Hall. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Deal. Come you know, on down. Yeah, come on down. Uh, you're the next contestant on The Price is Right. Um, <laughs> all right. So anything else there? You're going to go off and uh, do a little gambling, right? Oh, yeah. I'm going um, I'm I'm to gamble. First, I'm going to get something to eat. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, yeah. By the way, I got that steak coming. Don't worry about it. Yeah, look at that steak, man. I'll be waiting, man. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 I, I, no, 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 I, I, you know, I said that during the pandemic. I said, <laughs> I said when the pandemic is over, <laughs> I'm gonna take it's us all out to put you, me, and the wives, and we're gonna go out and have a nice you big. We can make a, a big ball. My <laughs> wife says she'll be waiting. <laughs> <laughs> I think she, I think she came back to say, "Hey, what's going on? The show's running long tonight. What's going on?" <laughs> 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 hey, hey, tell her, tell her, my wife bought me a garbage can to throw the jokes into. <laughs> you heard it too. There it is, right here. Uh, look at, look at I think this I bin is. That, I think this bin is big enough. The guy said, "I took, I got to get a bigger bin." I know, man. Throw it away, man. Throw it away. Hey, by the way, I, I want to finish the show with some laughs, but I didn't know that you sang to your wife as she was coming down the aisle. Oh, oh, yeah. great, oh man, I, you know, I mean, it never came up in conversation where we're talking, but then you're like, oh, you know, and tell uh, Nicole happy anniversary. But um, what I wanted to say too was, you know, you had a right. thing on your page and it was like, right. oh, here's a clip, here's a clip of Chops singing at his wedding. I thought it was like at the reception or something, you know? Right. Then all of a sudden I look at Chops is at the end of the aisle and you sing as she was coming down the aisle. What a great idea that was. Oh. Well, you know, you know I wrote that song called This Is Our Wedding Day. Yeah, this is our wedding. Oh my god, I, I gotta tell you, I, I don't get worked up too easy, man. I had like chills watching that. Oh, that was man. unbelievable. Oh, what a Thank great you, I, what a great Thank idea. I'm like, oh Thank my god, he's you. singing that she's coming down the aisle. Oh my god, Thank that was great. You. Thank and you got a big over it was like people loved it and she loved it too. Thank so that was you. great. Oh my um, god, that was fantastic, man. You see the you know, chops, you know, he, there's a lot of different sides of chops there. You know, he's got like he's got like the laughing guy over there, then he's got like the great uh world class vocalist and entertainer, right? Right, yes. and then, then he's like a businessman, and then he's got that like Ronnie Lot, like he's gonna take, he's, he's gonna take you out, you know. If you, <laughs> like three or four different sides, you guys. Anyway, so, <laughs> all right. Well, thank you. Uh, I'd like to thank our guest Ed Macedo for being on tonight. Uh, he was great. Joey Charenza in that, that clip from the music of Sinatra. A lot of people really like that. He's great. So, uh, and, our, and our fun time last night with uh, Doug Flutie down there. And uh, we want to mention Kilburn Mills. That's where all that happened. And a shout out to our friend there, uh, um, uh, John Ippolito. <laughs> and uh, yeah, somebody said, Laurie Tabor says, that laugh is contagious. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> It certainly is. We love that lab. Okay, Thank um, let's see. Thank Thanks to our sponsors again, J and J Materials, also Surf Pro, Empire Ford, Isaacson Solar, Livestream, Bash Incorporated, and Aaron Pools and Spas, and to Beckford Guide owner Michael Sylvia, and of course to Chops. Next week, the popcorn guy. We're gonna be yeah, popping next week. Man, we're, gonna be, we're gonna be we're gonna be popping next week. <laughs> <laughs> Might be the first time we're popping, but we'll be popping. <laughs> no, no, we pop all the time. No, no, we pop that's all the time. Right. No, yeah, yeah. We, do. we pop all the time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where am I over here? Where am I? Uh, oh, okay. Here we go. All right. All right. So um, I guess that's about it, Jobs. <laughs> all right. Go. Hey, if you hit the big one, you know, let's yes. say you go hit like the, you hit like the, you know, $10,000 in the casino, make sure yes. you send me a message. All right. Oh, yeah. Send your message, man. We're going out to dinner. 
Yeah, you got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going out to dinner anyway. That's right. <laughs> I expect, yeah, you know what? You can pay for the limousine. That's right. You get the limousine. We go. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, Pops. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you. And hey, don't don't forget to laugh, folks. Good night, everybody. Thank you very much. Yep. Thank you.